Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I'm a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I'm licensed in California and Oregon. I prepare monthly reports that look at the market trends in 14 communities and market segments I call the Orange County Lifestyle Artery. This artery runs from Newport Beach to Ladera Ranch through Irvine and Tribuco Canyon. We take a close look at two areas in Newport. We monitor several locations in Irvine and report on Turtle Rock and Woodbridge specifically regularly. Then we move out to Baker Ranch, Foothill Ranch, Portola Hills and finish with details on Robinson Ranch, Rancho Cielo in RSM, Dove Canyon, Cota de Casa as gated golf course communities and then into Ladera Ranch. Each area is broken down into subsections. For example, in Ladera we look at condominiums single family under 3,250 feet and then single family over 3,250 square feet. Each report takes a focused look at a specific community or neighborhood but also tries to relate th that neighborhood to those around it. This Today's report focuses on Robinson Ranch and Rancho Cielo in the Highlands area of Rancho Santa Margarita. We're looking at uh, a period ending 5-1-20 which means it's the data is from January 1st 2020 through April 30th 2020 giving us the first four months which also happens to be the first full month of the COVID-19 stay-at-home order. We will be discussing the changes that have occurred over the last 30 days so we will be seeing a pretty direct correlation to the COVID-19 situation but we also compare year over year and we have some graphs that show the prior five years. New listings fall sharply in Rancho Cielo Robinson Ranch in April The question is, will that trend begin and continue into May and probably June and July? When we do consultations with sellers, they always want to know what type of market is it, a buyer or seller's market. So the first thing we're addressing in our normal reports is market type. Robinson Ranch, Ranch of Cielo, or clearly sell our markets at the time. Chapman University defines a buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. The next thing sellers want to know is what's the competition? How, how do I have to strategically price my home? And so we're addressing here those things the comp that are competition. There are currently nine active listings there were 16 new listings over the last 90 days. Nine of those are still on the market. Three of those listings occurred in April. Part of understanding how to price your home when you list it is knowing that there are three key disciplines that have to be gone through. You have to list your home, creating a new listing. Hopefully you're going to attract a buyer and get a, an offer that's acceptable and get to a contract written and push that contract through to closing. Currently in this market, new listings are running 37% behind the same period in 2019. The second step in that discipline is getting to contract making sure you're priced correctly, negotiate appropriately, and m strike, a buyer, strike a deal with a buyer. Currently contracts are running 24% behind last year. You notice that even though listings were going up, contracts written were going down. I think the sellers were anxious, wanted to sell in this market, but uh, buyers have been a bit more hesitant, so to speak sales fell off and fell off again and have leveled off. The final step, the ultimate goal, is getting a closed sale. Transferring title, 
sellers turning the home over to the buyers and everybody's happy. What we're seeing at the moment is contracts are up 33% compared to the same period over in 2019 last year. However, if you look at the graph, you can see that at the end of March, we were up 113%, and at the end of February, we're actually up about 140%. So closings are falling off, and they have to because they're following the contracts. One of the reasons we look at market trends from a 90-day perspective is because the market is seasonal, and this year it's also greatly impacted by the stay-at-home order. So we always need to follow the trends of the last 90 days, and that gives us a guide as to what will happen over the next 30 to 60 days. So when we price a home, we have to take that into consideration. That's why this chart looks at the closings of the last 90 days. There were 18. 12 of those homes sold below the current list price. Two sold at the current list price, and four sold above current list price. This is a pretty typical blend of how homes sell w when they are priced, cor perhaps overpriced, correctly, and underpriced. The market will tell you where you're at on your pricing. Part of understanding where you're at on your pricing is knowing how long it should take and how long it does take to get an acceptable offer. And currently in this community, the average ac the average days on market for the current active listings is 34 days. In our last report, it was 25 days. We really like to target a, a DOM of 30 to 45 days so this is very good uh, uh, results right now and and actually it's the second best of the 14 we monitor inventory as we started out discussing in the type of market buyer or seller is defined by Chapman University and you can see here it's currently at 1.5 excuse me one one, yes, 1 1.5 months of inventory. It was 1.2 months. And you can see that that's well below the uh, 3.5 months, which is the transition from a buyer's to a seller's market. As part of that, you get... So in conclusion, we hope that for those of you out, of you out there who might be in thinking of selling, we hope that this presentation has demonstrated we have in-depth knowledge of real estate. We know the timing, neighborhood values, marketing strategies needed to properly price your home and list it for you. As your real estate agent, we know how to take full advantage of any market condition to help you sell your house. And for you buyers out there who are wondering where to start, you now know we have this market knowledge for all of South Orange County. We can help you identify the best neighborhood and find the right home for the next phase of your life. Please contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. 303-300-3000.
thank you very much.